Welcome back guys, VST here, Velocity Tech, and what you can see on the screen is my Galaxy S23 Ultra. And finally, I am finally able to just change my icons to the way I want. Stock, absolutely using stock tools, guys. So if you want to find out how I'm able to really get this amazing look, because I really love it, the fact that I can now just go and use one color for all my icons, guys, make sure to watch this full video. And don't hesitate to check some of my other Samsung video. And in case you like Chinese phones, I got the Oppo Find X6 Pro 2, which makes me probably one of like 10 people in Europe and maybe 20 people around the world outside of China. But this video right now is on this. Sub to the channel, like the video, and let's start. Let me start with showing you how it works right now before this update. And then I'm gonna guide you, of course, to the update and show you how you can tweak all the colors. So right now, guys, if you wanna change the color palettes, you can go to the wallpapers in style and you have here something called color palette, which of course is inspired by Android and the whole material view and it was implemented and it works quite well. So you can change the color palette, which will of course apply on things like this, like menus and all the toggles here. So this is clear and this works quite nice. And you also have something called apply a palette to app icons. So let me just go now and choose those one, right? I'm going to apply the whole color palette to everything on the screen. So you can just see all the elements, right? The dialer and also the quick toggle. So that's quite fine. I'm gonna press also apply. I do believe that you can already see where the problem lies. Some of uh, the icons used by stock apps like the Galaxy Store, the Gallery, the Play Store, which is actually quite nice. And also some of the Google icons changed their icons. But what happens when I go to Media Guys? Bruh. Spotify apparently supports this dynamic teaming inherited from the Android 13 ride and also the Galaxy Wearable and also Power Amp and Good Luck, but the Mixed Cloud and my other tools don't support it. Same with the YouTube Studio, which is frustrating because it comes from Google. And if I try to show you all my other icons, it's going to be really this crazy chaotic soup of mixed colors. So the option was you either use a third party a launcher and then some custom icon packs and you need to modify it, but there wasn't any straightforward stock option to modify this before this update. So Theme Park apparently got an update and I wanna just show you guys uh, what is new. So the version now is 10957, ability to change color palette colors. Of course, some other bug fixes. So this is a very, very new version from the 27th of April, only 14 megabytes, guys. So in case you don't know, Theme Park is a model for good luck. So if you don't know what good luck is, guys, just make sure to watch all the videos. I'm gonna put them there, but in this later version, guys, you can go and modify this thing, which is the color palette. And I wanna show you the effect. So this is the VST icon purple team. Looks amazing. I'm still using the stock icons, guys, but I can now finally get one and the same consistent color everywhere. And I can tell you, I love it. I've been using third party launchers to achieve the same effect let me just show something interesting, guys. Every, every color here, every icon, everything is modded with this color. So this is really amazing. And I'm gonna demonstrate also some other options, guys. You have plenty of ways to go with. I'm gonna now create a brand new one uh, so that you can just see how this works, but just see what happens, guys. It's so easy, it works everywhere, but you don't have to worry. You have one application that you and your buddies use and the color doesn't really come right. So when you open the theme park, guys, right, you can just create a new icon pack. In my case, I am just using standard icons, guys. You can just see here. You can, of course, do this and apply this on other icons. Never try this. Don't really care. But guys, from here, you're able to choose whatever you want. So let's say right now I want to go with these blue ones. Boom. So then I click here, guys. Okay, I can save it. So let's just type VST blue. I'm gonna press okay. And now preparing the data. And it's a fair waiting involved, maybe like 30, 40 seconds. I don't have the reason for why this is so slow. I guess probably because some system resources are manipulated. I want this to be quicker, but okay, right now that's the cave it guys. It's a whole new team, VST Blue. I'm gonna click on this team. I'm gonna apply it, guys. And after this icon set is applied, I'm gonna show you my home screen, which will look very delightful. Everything modded with this new blue color. And I guess you're absolutely correct. When you go back inside and you try to edit your work, you can choose whatever color you want. You can choose the current color. If you have the right code, guys, you can type it there. Eventually, the options are unlimited. And if you like a video like this, guys, don't hesitate. Uh, just press the like button, guys. Sub for the channel. That's uh, really a great support for me. And really stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos, guys. With that said, VST over and bye.